guys. Uh, interesting part. We never saw like, something like this before. Uh, this is a car we turboed, I think, one and a half or two years ago. It got an ME221 Gen 2 fitted. It was one of the first cars. We had some gremlins uh, and the starting point, but this is not the problem why the car is here. The car was driving and uh, Marius gave me a call and said, hey, it made a massive sound like a bump and then the engine stopped. And I said, okay, that's weird. He were losing oil. Uh, on the bottom of the engine and we really could not get the point why the engine stalled and is losing oil. The only thing which we saw, or actually the car came in and said okay it's probably something with the, there is a um, uh, RPM signal missing or whatever. We were checking for it and we could not see any problems on that side but um, then we took the valve cover apart and then we saw that the timing of the engine was gone out. Um, and actually Omid, who is the mechanic who is doing all our mechanic work, said, Jan, there's something strange, and I never saw it before. It snapped the bolt on the exhaust side from the cams, and actually the trigger, or the, the cam wheel, snapped over, and the timing of the engine was wrong. So really, really strange on that side. And um, yeah, we took it more apart and said, okay, um, check if you can see anything and then we saw the first part where the where the cam is sitting in it's really hard there's like there was no oil or whatever so um, the camshaft got stuck on this point and was so stuck that we could not even turn it so we just have to get the engine out we will disassemble it now take it over to the engine department and I'm really happy to or I'm, I'm really interested where the problem is of that engine. So let's go over. Who meet takes two hours and then we will see in the next step the engine in the engine department when this assemble it and then we will see where the problem was. Hey guys, uh, yeah, we just got the engine back over here. We disassembled the whole engine. So this is actually a BP engine with a turbo conversion. We see an intake manifold, we see injectors, we see a head gasket, we see a turbocharger with a header, we see a head, we see a camshaft, we see a crankshaft, some pistons and the block. So really funny story, I just never saw something like this before. Actually it's here mentioned in German, but I will explain it to you. So we had the really strange failure, just one bearing left the game uh, on the hat and we just said okay that's weird, we never saw it and it's already, the, it, it also broke the screw which connects the timing gear to the camshaft and I said okay I never saw something like that and it was like really melted the hat and I said okay we just have to disassemble the engine to see where the problem is or whatever. We disassembled the engine and actually in the disassembling process nobody saw, it or saw any problem and then Günther who is just making all the engines over us uh, over here at our company he just came to me in the office and said hey Jan there's a strange story I never saw it before and probably guys from America they just know how uh, MX5 block looks like but that's not the way how they should be set it up and that was the way how they were set it up. So actually and I think this, this engine was never opened before because it, it got that white which is now brown from the oil um, gaskets which are looking like that and um, yeah, I th it got a timing belt change back in the days, but I think the engine was never disassembled. And um, yeah, we just have it now in part. And Mazda from the factory did the main bearing alignment wrong. So they set it up, the first and the third main bearing guide, they just flipped it, so it, it was wrong. And um, yeah, so actually what happened, it worked for a certain amount of time, but it all the time worked a bit on the bearing. So it's now 1, 100,000 kilometers. And all the little material from the bearing went into that little hole, which is actually the oil squirter, and made all the, the, the ports from the oil squirter, uh, there were, were a little bit of, of bearing melt in, in that part, and actually closed up the oil squirter and there was no coming no oil out of the engine or out of this piston or it came too much or whatever I do not know but we had a certain moment of oil pressure drop on this bearing and actually the part which connects from the main oil part to the hat was also stuck with little pieces of, uh, little pieces of metal and 
the bearing of the actually the first main bearing um, left the game and also the main bear or the first bearing of the outlet cam also so I never saw something like this um, yeah but long story short what can we use again from the engine actually all these parts so the intake manifold injectors etc and the turbo we can use again on the hat we will not use the hat again because this is something I would not use again and also the the camshafts I think there is a way to repair it but it, it would be not my idea we have an, uh, a crankshaft over here uh, which can be repaired so I would go probably for the first oversize get it um, machined aligned and balanced and then just back up and uh, probably we could use reuse the pistons because they look really fine so also the the oil support ring is still loose which is a problem on the BP engines they like to burn uh, uh, and do not work fine so and uh, yeah, here you can see the bearing the, this this is the first bearing of the first cylinder so you really see how it's melted um, yeah so long story short uh, I just called the customer and said, hey man, we have a problem with that engine. Uh, we have to make a rebuild and he said, okay, in my lifetime now at the moment I just cannot spend another 10k into making a whole new engine and doing new mapping, etc. So we went to the point say, okay, I have a good VVT engine here. We just not overhaul the engine at all. We just replace the gaskets and all that stuff, timing belt, etc. And we just get a used VVT engine back into the car. That we will do now, so in the next episode you will see how we do the wiring from a 1.8 NB engine to a 1.8 NBFL engine and we will show you how we manage the stuff with the cables and we will explain you what the difference in the engine bay between the 1.8 NB and the 1.8 NB VVT and we will also explain you how the VVT will work in the hat. So this will be in the next video, see you soon, bye.